I enjoyed the ride with Warhammer Darktide. We got a chance to play the beta over the last weekend with some of the homies of Super Dope Duper, and it was a lot of fun. Great times, we had a lot of laughs, and it was very, very reminiscent for us to get a chance to play the game again because we have played Warhammer 1, Vermintide, and Warhammer 2, Vermintide. Those games were a lot of fun, high fantasy, dungeon crawling like first person diablo-esque games where you're going through levels clearing everything out and dealing with boss battles and mini boss battles and puzzles along the way and you move forward to warhammer vermintide 2 and the reason why that one was so good was because of the fact that you were able to play the game on stream and your community could decide and vote on what happened to you what item you would get if you had low health what boss would you would fight when you didn't want to have to fight one of the bosses anyway so those are different things that they kind of did to like choose your own adventure I'm really curious if they're going to add that into this game and give us the ability to do that because this is a whole new world, whole new different mechanics with the fact that you have guns involved now. Back then it was bow and arrows and magic and scepters. So off the rip, we've got the chance to play it on PC. I don't know if it's going to have crossplay. I hope it does because I think right now in the age of 2022, more games should just start coming out with crossplay enabled because it would allow for us to have a better time and it probably would provide better longevity for other games, Avengers. But yeah, graphically and visually, it's not too dark of a game. I was kind of concerned if it was going to be a little too dark where we couldn't see what was going on and you got enemies coming out of left field that you can't find or see and don't know what's happening and you're getting clapped not a fun time but it was well lit well designed the graphics were amazing depending on how you could put your pc to handle it and on console as well i think one of the last games i played that was like this was the robin hood game or the hood outlaws and legends and i really didn't have a lot of fun playing that and then following up with playing something like babylon's fall recently back from square enix that wasn't great even though that game already has been taken offline and also with the other four player co-op dnd inspired game too that wasn't really that great it didn't deliver on any pizzazz or any arm. and per usual with the four player co-op game you had all of the different classes that you could pick from psyker being like the magician the premium magic wielding class in the game large area effect attacks powerful blasts putting everybody on their grass being able to pick up targets and mind blow them from a mile away i'm just sitting up there watching this happen over and over again and it was super amazing you can't spam it because the overcharge could kill yourself but it was still a lot of fun watching the psyker actually go into action then you had the veteran sharpshooter the sharpshooter was pretty much like one of the more familiar classes your normal basic long range shooter that could handle a rifle no big deal impale enemies from afar deal damage up close they were kind of versatile with whatever they did but it was like headshots good versus elites and specials melee class you had like a shovel and range you had like a different gun with grenades they were a lot of cool i don't know many of us that played it we had a few psychers in the game with us and we definitely had one of the organs and then i played as the zealot preacher but the organ is the big brute the big tank the archetype that's meant to deal with the most damage and soak it up up front but also be able to keep everybody in group control crowd control and smash and dash all across the land then you had the zealot the preacher they were pretty much like melee attacks and they gained speed like the more damage that they did the more that they got to move faster and be more versatile kind of like a a monk the monk build if you will for this game really fun really cool to play uh, it was very similar to how we play warhammer vermintide 2 everybody did have a magic class i was more of the mixture of the melee combat with the ability to do some kind of medium range to close range damage in combat as well but i was the one that managed to help to keep you alive so you could thrive but yeah i mean i feel like the game did what it was supposed to do it was a lot of fun being able to go back and forth with the homies as we played through the game enjoying each little bit and moment of it from the times we ended up dying to getting overwhelmed by the massive hordes of enemies that decided to pile in on top of us and beat the brakes off of us to getting a snuck attack from a dog from behind that wanted to rip our face off and everything it was like we played the game and it was like a summer action movie you know how it's not really that great of a thing where you're like oh this is top tier top 10 all of the time but it did do its job and what it was supposed to do as far as being a straight up dungeon crawling brawler run around have a great time with your friends clear the levels intense co-op pvp horde slaying experience that was nothing but a lot of fun and i look forward to seeing what more it has what the dlc is going to do and again my biggest takeaway is that i want to see that interactive streaming element added back into the game and i really 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 hope that more games start to add things like that into it now seeing how streaming has taken the forefront in gaming for a lot of people and with that being said i hope you got a chance to play in the beta and enjoy the game we appreciate it as always and remember greatness lives within 
begins with us it ends with us but most importantly is that it starts with us the world's waiting go show them how great you really are and you're more than welcome to like comment subscribe and hit all of the buttons that go beep beep and boop and we'll see you later fly easy peace